This tutorial will explain how to calibrate your cell using dual calibrations. Dual calibrations require two sensors, with one of the sensors being used as the reference. It is always best if you can use the master sensor as the reference sensor. When placing the tag in the space, try to place the tag in a position where the bore side of each sensor intersects. This location is where the antenna pattern has the greatest gain. There are a couple of things we're going to want to do before running the dual calibration. First, we're going to want to double click on the master sensor to open up the properties. Here you're going to want to set the disable sleep flag so that the tag does not fall asleep during calibration. Next, we're going to want to see live data. So right click on location engine cell 0001 and choose monitor. You should now be seeing random angle of arrival lines, and we'll probably also want to see the TDOA, so go ahead and click the TDOA checkbox at the bottom as well. Note that all the data that you see right now is just random because we haven't done any calibration. Next thing you'll want to do is turn on a tag. Please see our video on how to turn on a tag. If you have multiple tags on in your space, it's advised to type in the tag ID that you're going to be using in the tag box so that you only see data from that particular tag. In this example, I'm going to do a dual calibration using the master sensor and sensor 1724. To do so, I'm going to right click on sensor 1724 and choose dual calibration. When the wizard opens, I'm going to hit the next button. I'm going to select my master sensor as the reference. I'm going to type in my tag ID. Click the next button. And then I'm going to type in the XYZ coordinate where my tag is. If you use our Survey Point Finder tool, you can simply select your calibration point from the drop down menus. Then click Next. The system will now begin calibrating. When it is finished, you will receive calibration values for both the master sensor and the slave sensor. One thing that you should note is that the pitches should be negative. If, for some reason, you get a positive pitch value, you probably me measured your sensors incorrectly, or maybe your tag position was me measured incorrectly. Since we haven't saved any values for the sensors yet, we want to select both master and slave sensor and click the next button. and click finish. You can see that the angle of arrival lines are starting to converge where my tag position is, but we still need to finish the other sensors. I'm going to go ahead and finish calibrating this, my sensors. You may want to press pause on the video to do so yourself. When you're finished calibrating all of your sensors, the green angle of arrival lines and the blue TDOA curves should all converge where your tag position is. You also want to take several calibration spots. Typically, I'll calibrate each sensor from two different spots in the room. And when I look at the results, the yaw and pitch values should be plus or minus two, no matter where I calibrate from. If you don't experience this, you probably measured your sensors incorrectly or even your tag position. You'll want to go back and make sure that your sensor measurements are accurate, otherwise your location data will not be very accurate. When you have finished calibrating, you should select the leave trail flag and walk around the space with your tag. Then when you're done, you can pull the slider back and review the individual events as you walked around the space. What you should do is verify at several different places around the room that the angle, arrival, and TDOA lines converge relatively close to where your tag position is. If it does not, you need to go back and remeasure your sensors and verify that their positions are accurate, and re-verify that your tag position is accurate, and try the calibration process again. When you're satisfied with the results, 
Make sure to double click on the master sensor and turn off the disable sleep flag so that the tag can fall asleep when it's not being used. There's one note of caution I want to mention while calibrating. Let's say that in reality you actually have a wall in the middle of your space. If you're going to do a dual calibration using sensor 1724 and sensor 11A7, you probably cannot put the tag in a position where both sensors can see it because the wall will block the path of signal. What you should do instead is place the tag between 1724 and sensor 1EEF and use sensor 1EEF as the reference instead of the master. The only thing that you need to make sure of is that 1EEF has already been calibrated versus the master.